Liverpool versus everybody. It's game day. We know what it is. Half past 12 stateside, half past 5 in the evening at Liverpool, at Anfield. Chelsea are welcomed to town. Um, as usual, always seems like a long time coming. Um, even longer probably with the, the midweek performance uh, capitulation. Um, I've tried to look at it in a positive light, and the obvious positives are that we are still head of the group. And we went into a hostile environment that was going to be tough anyway. Um, I believe we made it tougher on ourselves than we needed to. Uh, but we got a result that um, is better than losing. You know, um, we all know about it. They've been undefeated for a year at home, uh, which obviously means Barcelona couldn't beat them there. Atleti couldn't beat them there. Real Madrid, uh, any other decent to good sides uh, in Spain, uh, they haven't been beat there. And, and we knew that it would be tough, um, especially in the second half. There's been things coming out about the coach telling his, his squad that he has uh, cancer. I can't recall which kind. There's been rebuffed statements of that not being exactly true. He told them afterwards, whatever the case may be, they, they fought with a lot of spirit and outplayed us. I'm not going to talk too much about the Sevilla game because we know what it is. But me saying that kind of segues into that game really showing in a nutshell to anyone, the novice or who, someone who may not know much about football and just starting to get into the Premier League and the Liverpool, that is who we are. Uh, we can show a lot of things going forward, although our two goals were offset pieces, which is good, but it's rare. Uh, we had other chances that we weren't clinical on, which, again, tends to be the same old story, either that or bad defensively. It's always one or the other. Um, and then how we can capitulate. You know, and we've, we've had games like that, that that's happened. Bournemouth is one. If you think about Sevilla um, in, in the Europa League, up going into half, end up, you know, losing. Um, the game before this game against Sevilla um, had that right in our hands ended up drawing so um, th at the end of the day it feels like this this is a team that we you know we just can't break down one way or another um, and I mean that in little we can't we can't beat them you know we can't we can't break them down they get the best out of us one way or another um, but this is a game going into the, the, the home match against Chelsea that uh, could could all could help us all collectively put Sevilla to bed um, uh, and I feel like a win here is the only thing that can really do that a loss here, even maybe in a draw, just kind of heightens kind of the nervousness around this this team. And I expect that to be present at Anfield. It's been that before the Sevilla match, and Klopp talks about it. Um, but at the same time, it's the team's job to to keep that out of our minds um, and out of the, the fans' minds at, at the stadium. Um, so, you know, how we start this game really, really has an effect on that. And, um, you know, while I, I understand and trust me, I, I, I would hope that our fans are always behind us, it's always going to be that air of nervousness as long as this team continues to to have these kind of laps, laps moments in these games. So, um, but yeah, we know what it is. This this team, you know, like I said, beside Everton and Man United is is a big rivalry. Don't don't ever you know forget that or, or think any other way about it. So many amazing games, so many crazy results, um, talking points, storylines. Um, all competitions, FA Cup finals, Champions League semifinals, quarterfinals, and the league, of course. Um, really, really great games. Um, some unfortunate moments for us, you know, Gerard's slip, um, Suarez's bite, uh, but we've had some things on them as well um, in Champions League, different moments, um, all types of things. Josie Mourinho's, you know, shut it up, be quiet. Lots of different things going on, and, and let's hope this game we can leave a mark on it and people are talking about um, how Chelsea maybe capitulated or you know, how he made them look bad. And um, we don't want a story of them coming to Anfield and continuing the misery that we may have felt against this team in the past or just in general bouncing off of the Sevilla match. So um, I'm looking forward to a good game. Um, it'll be interesting what happens with Moreno. Um, if we go back a few months, we can remember how he basically told fans to shut up. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's improved. Klopp believes in him. It's a defensive, it's a team defensive thing. It's not just him. Um, meanwhile, being pretty much the culprit of of things going bad against teams in the league um, and especially against Sevilla, uh, for some reason he, he comes up small against them. So um, I trust in the manager. I believe in the team. At the end of the day, you know, he's going to, 
you know, Klopp sees these guys every every week, you know, as I say, and you know, he, he knows what's best for the team. So um, we got to get behind the team no matter who's out there. It'd be interesting to see who the starting lineup is. We might come back with a live during the starting lineup. Um, but, yeah, just excited about it. Um, uh, you know, Klopp mentioned it, and, and no one really has any faith in us. No one believes in us. And, unfortunately, a lot of our fan base don't either. Um, and, of course, other fans, pundits. And, honestly, I'd like it no other way. It's nothing better than shutting people up and, and seeing that your team can prove doubt is wrong. Changing doubters into believers is, is the saying um, that Klopp had coming into this team. So, uh, shout out to Troops from Arsenal Fan TV. Um, unless you've been sleeping under a rock and, and you know YouTube channels and you know Arsenal Fan TV, you know Troops. He was the only, the only of all the people on fan channels, pundits, writers, whatever that I saw and heard who chose Liverpool to win this game uh, 3-1, which is my prediction as well. So, all those things we know don't matter. It doesn't matter who scores. We can talk about who our goal scorers are and all that. But at the end of the day, it's about getting this win. It's about keeping us, um, you know, moving up. You know, we got Burnley and other teams behind us that, you know, they're, they're itching to, to, to crawl up the table as well. So we got to do it. It's another chance. It's another big team. We haven't done well against those this season so far. Uh, at some point, we need to change this. Why not have it be today against Chelsea? Um, Again, one of our biggest rivals, I believe. Uh, it'd be a physical match. It'd be a, tech, a really tactical kind of uh, masterclass between both teams, both managers, um, who come out on top. Hopefully it's Klopp, hopefully it's his team. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. We'll probably see you guys maybe with one more video before the game starts, like I said, for the starting prediction. Um, so yeah, it's half past 12 here when the game starts. So we got a few hours here. Watching some match of the day stuff, some build-up information, uh, news and things of that nature. So, yeah, we'll be back with you guys soon. So, till then.